Glorilla, she's trying to figure out why her security was the one who basically went out there and did that to Big Jill. I want to let everybody know, if you rockin' with Young Dolph, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram. I want everybody to pay close attention to what the DA just released. They said that Moneybag Yo, he was the one that went out there and said that Glorilla, she was the main one. She was there at the scene when everything went down. But a lot of people looking at it like Big Jill could have protected himself. Everybody in Memphis knew that the Kingpin, he was having a funeral. Everybody knew it was going to be a repast, and they knew where it was at. He was well-known. He was well-respected. R.I.P. to that man. R.I.P. to Young Dolph. Regardless of what's going on, I want y'all to throw them Dolphins down in the comment section. Let me know if you're a fan of PRE. Let me know if you're a fan of CMG. Everybody saw how Moneybag Yo... He told Glorilla, you shouldn't even really go out there because it's like he had a feeling that something was finna go on. As soon as he released the body cam footage, he said that as soon as he saw Govan, he instantly knew it was something to go down. Next thing you know, as soon as Govan instantly get a word to all the people who were standing out there and let them know, like, man, I just want to send my condolences out to that man. Next thing you know, this is where they said that dude them pulled right up. He said that these the same people who've been following Big Juke since the beginning when Big Juke them left the funeral. I want y'all to know you have to be safe out there. You have to watch every mirror. You have to be careful because they already said that this is related to what happened with Young Dolph. And they trying to get revenge on anybody who on their side. It was senseless violence. And we know for a fact that this could have easily been avoided. We have to really understand and pay close attention to what the DA is saying. The DA, they looking at the substantial evidence that came back from the forensic. They said that the fingerprints that was found on the door of the white vehicle, the getaway vehicle, they said these fingerprints led back to Glorilla. And she looking at Angela Simmons as if Angela Simmons, she should have been instantly gave her the heads up that they was looking for her. Everybody said that Glorilla, she wanted to stay as far away from them as possible when this was going on because she already know for a fact that she, Angela Simmons, she came out and said Key Glock was the main one who basically looked at Glorilla as if she was playing both sides because she was finna sign the young Dolph right before he got signed up. Next thing you know, CMG instantly came scooped up. Yo Gotti wanted her to sign to the label all because he knew that she had talent and he knew for a fact that she instantly, she wanted to get a deal real quick. Yo Gotti, he looked at Young Dolph as if Young Dolph wasn't supposed to be mad that he confronted him about a female. A lot of people know for a fact when you in the hood, this person gonna mess with that person. This person gonna go over there and tell that person that she over there with you. I want everybody to understand the way that Key Glock came out and said that Glorilla was heavily involved in what happened with Big Jug, it goes to show they playing the blame game. It, anytime they start playing the blame game, you know for a fact that the feds finna get involved because they wanna they want answers. They wanna know why this happened. They gonna wait to all them do that to each other. They gonna wait till everybody start reporting what went on with Big Jip, what went on with Young Dolph. The footage get released from Makita's Raven. Them come out and say what really happened. As soon as that happened, that's when the feds gonna move in. The feds already said they got a pending warrant to get the footage so that they can be able to look at everything that went on inside of Makita's R.I.P. Young Dolph. At the end of the day. Gorilla is looking over her shoulder on both sides at this point. PRE and at possibly allegedly having a price on her head. They think she may have had something to do with Young Dolph's passing since she went over to the other side. And now with her security possibly being involved happening with the event with Big Jook, she's looking over her shoulder both ways. Really, I don't understand what's going through these ladies' heads. They need to get out. Angela Simmons needs to get out. This is not a place for her to be. No matter how you slice this pie, it's about to go up either in court or on the streets. Nothing is safe, and this is not a place for these ladies to be, to be having good and healthy lives for their families, for their kids, for themselves. Reverend Ron said that Angela Simmons did not tell him that Yo Gotti had all this going on in the streets. This what made the feds jump in the whole situation and made them investigate this whole case. 
They looking at this whole thing that happened with Big Juke as if it was strategic and this was somebody who he knew. This is why they want to get down to the bottom of it. Reverend Ron said that Angela Simmons should have been told him. He would have been had an army of people to go down there and get her. They not finna play no games about their daughter because everybody know how your gotta get out in Memphis. Regardless of what your gotta did, it led everything to come back on his brother. They said that your gotta was the one who instantly tried to bend down and instantly tried to hide on the ground so that his brother can instantly see what he was doing and his brother get down too. No, his brother, he was getting out the car too slow. As soon as he got out the car, that's when they did it. They've been following this man the whole time, and a lot of people said that they did it right in front of his parents. At the end of the day, allegedly, it was Joe Gotti and Angela Simmons who were actually the target, but because they couldn't get them, they took out Big Juk. They want to get who's closest to him and let him know that they're still coming for him. And this is why Angela Simmons needs to just hit the road and get home. At the end of the day, this street war is not going to stop. It is senseless violence that is going on, and it's only going to keep going when he really should be laying low. Court is right around the corner. This trial to find out the true murder of young Dolph is in March. They're going to put the evidence on the table, and everything is going to be brought to light. We don't know everything that the prosecutors have on their plates right now, but I guarantee you it's all going to be put on the table very soon. And from what everybody is saying, they saying that Straight Drop, Cornelius Smith, they ready to cop out right now. They ready to take a plea just so they can get out this situation and not have to do the full time that they will have to do if they get a jury trial or a bench trial. They would basically have to do whatever the prosecutors put on the table. Since they know what's going on in the streets because up in the jail, they, they instantly communicate more than the people on the street. Everybody know for a fact that Govan, they got a price tag on this man. And it's sad that this had to come to this, but they shouldn't have never did this to Young Dolph. R.I.P. to Young Dolph because the way that they retaliated all because Young Dolph started dissing them, it led Double R to stay in their distance. It led CEO Jizzle to basically come out and say what he wanted to say. Like, at the end of the day, Grove Hero not finna play no games because Lil Migo was the main one who came out and said that Black Youngster was the one who basically dropped the location. As soon as you drop somebody's location, you think they're not going to come back and track back to where you from? Everybody know for a fact that you cannot go out in these streets playing these games knowing that these people got all these ties to all these people. Everybody knew for a fact that as soon as MPD said that Black Youngster, he was the main one involved in both crimes, they said that they're going to pick up one of them, one of the other, and you don't blame them because at the end of the day, they shouldn't have never did that to Young Dolph. R.I.P. to Young Dolph. Black Youngster was the one that went to the grave site. As soon as he went out there, this is what Moneybag Yo told him. Like, man, do you know that was the stupidest thing you ever could do, man? Now you're going to put us on the radar. You're going to have the people around us dropping. And next thing you know, what the people start doing, they start dropping. They followed Go Van Daughter almost 90 miles away just to get her. R.I.P. to everybody who got lost behind this. R.I.P. to Young Dolph most of all because Paper Ralph Frank, he was taking care of his business. He was the main one showing everybody how to get money. And people thought that Young Dolph wasn't going to really go out there and ba basically put his life on the line just by yo gotta get mad over the song and the girl. No, everybody knew for a fact how Young Dolph got out. Young Dolph didn't play no games when it came to basically protecting everything that he got going on. As soon as Trey Trey said, I, I miss my daddy, that's when everybody started looking like. The whole PRE, they jumped up like, man, we got to do something about this. This is what me and Jay instantly sent everybody to basically to the round table so that they can discuss this because they've been grieving for two years straight. At the end of the day, PRE and Mia are definitely working to find justice for young Dolph. Again, whether it be in the streets at this point or in the courtroom, the, the truth is going to come out. Everybody knows what happened. It's all connected in one way or another, and someone is going to eventually spill the beans. This is such a sad situation, the loss and the heartache to the community, to these families. It, it's just heartbreaking that when someone's trying to make a difference, they're usually the one that's taken out.
And it's like from Young Dolph Brother even coming out and basically saying Big Jip deserve everything that happened. This goes to show he know they had something to do with his brother because they said that Big Jip was on Makita's footage right across the street waiting on Young Dolph to instantly walk in the cookie shop. This is where they set everything to motion and they was able to catch him. And the two dudes was able to run up with the drink and then the other one was shaking the, it was like a switch on the back of it. Everybody knew for a fact that as soon as they came out there, they basically set themselves up for failure as soon as they messed with Young Dolph. R.I.P. Paper Ralph Frank, R.I.P. Flipper, because this should have never occurred under these circumstances. But from what the FBI is saying, they looking at it like it's, it ain't going to be no cold case. They going to get down to the bottom of everything that happened with Young Dolph. I want everybody to send their condolences. Drop them Dolphins down in the comment section. Drop them 999s in the comment section. Let me know if you're a fan of Young Dolph.